What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Keith. I'm Jarek. Kay. I'm Julio. You know who I am. I'm scared. You, you about to monologue? <laughs> <Yeah. mind along? laughs> I was waiting for the evil. You said no one know who I was till I put on the mask. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer today. For more content like this, jump on the Patreon. Because y'all know why y'all here. BTS, Spine Breakers, live break performance. That, spine, girl. that sounds spicy. Spine Breakers? Yes. What's going to give out first? <laughs> your mind? Oh, <laughs> your mind. Oh, <laughs> <Or> your spine. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you jump on the Patreon because we're going to be jumping into the explained on there. Also, make sure you guys are on there this month. We're going to be jumping into some guides with some people who haven't had an opportunity to watch any of them and the history They've of had no guidance. Also, <laughs> also on there as well. Uh, but no long talk, we can jump into the Spine Breakers live. Sorry. Alright, instantly West Coast energy. Yeah. Oh, my baby. All right. <laughs> it's funny. Shit. Look at the crowd behind us. Is it no, no, is it no, no? I know they get you, but they got no choice. But I'm not happy to tell it, don't want it to go. I'm pushing, I'm teaching, I'm breaking. I'm teaching, I'm pushing, I'm teaching. Hey! Wait a minute. Hey! 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 Nah, uh, I'll give y'all a little bit more context. Spine Breakers is a song from, uh, like, I think School Love Affair, which would be, like, their second or third main song. So the song is, like, from 2013 or 14, a little bit after debut. So that's why the choreo might be a little bit more, uh, like, more playful and everything. It's because it's more, it's in the school era, like, the schoolboy love era. Yeah. Um, and this was 2019, so they would have just kind of been I'm redoing say, the choreo again. <laughs> yeah, they would have just been redoing the choreo again uh, at, at a muster, which is kind of 
a concert for um for Army to kind of show them love and playing some of the uh, like you know older songs or some of the newer songs. Okay, so it's a little bit of context for that. So it's much older stuff. Okay. Yeah, that and, makes sense. And on the school love affair, John, I forget if that was before after American Hustle. They they got a show called American Hustle Life where they stayed in Los Angeles for a little bit and was chilling with uh like uh, is it uh, like Warren G and uh G. Warren G and them and stuff. Julio. Coolio we took him on a fantastic voyage. voyage. Um, so that's why sometimes in some of the earlier tracks you can hear some of like that West Coast, like that, like na 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 na, because they kind of had some of the West Coast vibes. So I just wanted to add a little bit of context for y'all to you know to to get all that. Yeah, I was confused. <laughs> why was you confused? I don't know. It's just one of those nights for me where everything's meh. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm sorry to say that's, that's my squad, man, but. <laughs> I don't know. It was I didn't have no kick for me. I don't know. It was uh probably yes. <laughs> it was them breaking their back out for me. I was not down with that. Uh, but the beat was cool. I like the beat. <laughs> sound like a broken record yes. tonight. I know that's what I'm saying. <laughs> for real, I guess it's just that night for me. They gonna hate me in the comments. <laughs> I just like how I they make me forget with their with their swag change mm. that they make me forget that they are the ones doing ballads and singing to you and you know what I mean just floating above and they're angel angelic or they do that. the dynamite you know what I mean they get they they know how to switch up they their do swags know. to uh, embody the song. So I like that. It was like it was a different group. If you didn't tell me it was BTS, obviously I would have known because their faces. But I'm just like that's not BTS, but that is R F. Mm. You know what I mean? The rap line let it. Obviously this is rap. Yeah. This is a rap song. Mm. Um, and I, I appreciated it. I like it. It's not my thing because I'm I actually don't listen to a lot of rap <clears throat> unless it's like DMX or old school shit. Really? But, uh, yeah, I don't like the new rap. I don't like all. Uh, yeah. Straight Hennessy. Huh? What are you talking about? You said DMX. It's yeah. It's the aggressive. Yeah, that's all the old school. It's, yeah, that's. It's no filtered cigarettes, right? <laughs> yeah. It's it's I mean, <laughs> this it's is the heavy stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you hear me like that. I don't know. <laughs> no, <I'm sad. laughs> nah, without um. What is that? Yeah, like an owl. <laughs> it was a little more wolf to a other. <laughs> Anyway, I just I, I appreciate that um, because they did they do still know how to just switch it up for the mood and for they do. what they're presenting um, or their song or the genre or the song or whatever the tone of the song that's what I'm trying to say the tone of the song it fits they have the they have the um, the swag to do it and they have the personality and they have the the something else. It's, mm. Yeah, it's late, so I don't have any words. But yeah, I liked it. It's not something I'm going to download because that's a, not the BTS that Ooh. I know and I'm, I'm used to. <laughs> You're trying to get me in trouble. Talk to a wall. <laughs> like, Talk to a wall. Um, but yeah, I, I liked it. I, I appreciate their performance and... <laughs> their their BTS, their fire. You told me to talk to the hand. Yeah. <laughs> it took me about ten tracks to realize like BTS was God tier. So <laughs> ten, <laughs> like ten, right? Um, in the sense of I know that they can hit like any like all different octaves, jump in any different playing fields, and do any type of music that they wanted to. You could probably pick like ten different songs and just go from there. So essentially, it. I know the talent is there, so anytime it gets to a point where I don't really bang with like a BTS song, it'll be more so off of like the vibe, like either like the beat really wasn't for me or some of the subject matter just kind of didn't hit home. Um, with Spinebreakers, from what I can remember, um, I think the pure essence of the song was some, it was talking about um, how like kids, some, some kids be trying to be so cool to impress other people or some shit like that, mm -hmm. that they can be a financial burden on their parents and essentially be like a spine breaker to um, like your parents and everything like that. So it was just, you know, 
you don't got to stunt, be cool for other people and things like that because you're just really going to, like, hurt your folks and shit like that long term. So the messaging and everything on the song is decent and definitely, you know, they aren't just, like, not saying anything. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just one of those things where we've seen so much God tier choreography from them, production and everything else, that when you have things that are a bit more, you know, I don't want to call this monotone. <laughs> But something that's kind of more so like this throughout the whole ride and then lightful playing uh, with the choreo. It's going to be one of those things that kind of just don't really knock it out the park uh, for you. But it, it is a chill track. Like I said, I, I, it gives me that West Coast vibe. Um, and I like think that's cool. I actually I'm a big DJ Mustard fan and Dre fan, too. So like some of the West Coast produ producers are some of my favorite producers. But um, it just was chilling. It's, it's, yeah, it definitely chill. sounds like something. A chill '90s, uh, mm -hmm. like like type vibe is really what it what it Late was. 90s, early 80s. Yeah, which is crazy because uh, Julio, you was the, I think you would have been here for yeah, you was here for Jump when we did Jump, right? Mm -hmm. Jump is I think the next song after this. After that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <And> Julio <laughs> was in here. Like, <laughs> jump. <Yeah. laughs> that was jump. As I'm saying, yeah, like, that's my shit. Oh, like. Oh, <laughs> So yeah, so it would have seemed on the album they would have you'd have got that and you'd be like, all right, this chilling, and you'd have jumped right in the jump, ironically. Ironically, yeah. Um, but yeah. I just and and on stage live with those lights with the amount of people, that's hard work. I am so sorry. I'm so I didn't even realize you were sitting up. I'm so sorry. No, you did. Uh, just the lights, the 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 choreo, like all, dancing and singing to the camera and all that stuff. That's that's a lot. It is a lot. That is a lot. Like twenty million people screaming at you. <laughs> like and you got to perform in uh, underneath those hot ass lights with lights underneath you that are hot as shit. Like I respect them. Like it's, it's chilling. It's just chilling for what it is. Sorry, I'm, I'm no, so sorry. Uh, I thought I interrupted you. I'm really sorry. Didn't start. You good? Mm -hmm. I'm good. That's what I want to say. Um. I was gonna talk about the song, but they kind of covered that. Uh, okay. You know, just about um, you can get into more of it if I missed anything, because I. You no, know, I mean, the only other thing I would say that you that not even that you missed that you just didn't touch on was the fact that they were kind of talking about people who weren't even kids. They were talking about you know you're still an adult living in your parents' house or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. Um, but other than that, it comes to the, it comes back down to the same thing where you become a financial burden on your parents and you're not helping them and you're just kind of trying to you know too busy trying to live a lifestyle that you don't have yet. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of like, okay, but you are, you say what you want about me and whatever the fuck I'm doing, but mm. you're a burden on your parents. I'm helping mm. mine out. Um, and it's kind of one of those take the high road, being disrespectful in the, in the way you do it um, sort of situations. But <clears throat> um, all in all, I thought the song was okay. Mm. Um, I've heard it before, and, but I haven't heard it live before. It sounds, honestly, to me, I, I remember not really messing with the... Um, the studio version, like it was cool, but um, I like the live version better because always because they show more personality and you get to see them like on stage and jumping around or whatever. Mm -hmm. Choreo was definitely interesting. Um, but it was early choreo, but even some of the early choreo was fire. So maybe because it was a B side, it wasn't put, a, it didn't get a lot of love. Do you really see choreo in like those West Coast film type things? It's literally well, people like no, normally, but for them, but they're not they're not a West Coast group. Know, you know what I mean? They're they're a yeah. K-pop group, so yeah. they have to abide by the standard of a K-pop group, mm. which is choreo. Facts. Um, I guess. No, I mean, well, like when if you look at groups that came before them, I forgot what what was it? What was the name of the group that had the oversized mittens and hats and gloves and just looked oh, um, shitless. Um, um, but they but they had choreo. You know what I mean? And the song like, is Candy, and the group is like P.O.P. or or something like that. Down. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. It might have even been K-pop. I think that might have been. No, no, it's like they're a K-pop group. No, yeah. I mean, like, no, I think that might have been like the group name. Or something. It, was like, it was something weird. It was almost like on the nose. Um, but like, there, there's always choreo. But like, sometimes you see, you don't see like ex extensive choreo on B sides. They kind of just kind of. I don't want to say dial it in, but it's not. They know that those aren't like when they go to concert. Those aren't the 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 power jones. Those are more like the resting. We just gotta knock this out. Rest, right. rest and a little bit, and, taking a breather and then that. do jump and exert all our energy in the next song. Um, H O H O T H O T H O T. But I was right. The song is called Candy. Yes. Um, but like you know, so I mean, choreo is a part of the, is a part of the uh, landscape. 
even for a B-side, even for a slow song. Um, we've seen it, like, where we're, and we might not even see it right away, because, uh, like, we had a, what was it, uh, there was a couple tracks that we were like, okay, this is cool, and then we had to come back to it a couple months later, oh, there's fucking choreo for this? Mm-hmm. Like, no, like, we wouldn't think, you wouldn't think it would be that way, but it is part of the landscape, and so, I mean, <sighs> Maybe just because it was a B side, it was just kind of it was lacking. I didn't even know it was B side. I thought it was one of their the singles they put out. You know what I will say though, um, I do love like these conversations, and I love the honesty just because um, obviously BTS is really important to everybody. People are literally only watching this because of BTS. So there's a lot of people who. I guess, like, once you say, like, I don't really bang with the song, it turns into, like, oh, you a hater or why? Or you don't understand the explanation. And then you just, you'll be like, well, outside of understanding the explanation, if it didn't click with me, it just didn't click with me. If it doesn't resonate, so I it can, resonate. yeah, so I can get an explanation for something. And if it still just doesn't click, then you got to mm. understand it's not clicking. Right. Um, but I like that we're able to kind of be like, this is why it's not clicking. Because yeah. like I said, I just I gave them an explanation and we are going to get into like the DKDK TV joint that explains uh, like, you know, more of this type of stuff. Mm. Um, but I, I do just like us freely being able to just be like, yeah, like this not it. Yeah. Or, you know, this is it. Yeah. Um, and you are at, at a cross paths because like I said, BTS is one of those groups where they hit on every facet at a phenomenal level, whether it's the production, whether it's vocals, whether it's rap, the aesthetic, their MVs and just the subject matter. But if something just doesn't like click, yeah. it just doesn't click. And I think Don't music sometimes is that music is that simple, uh, regardless of language barriers. The other yeah. side of that too is because they do everything so well, when something is just lacking in the slightest, you yeah, notice it. You no. notice yeah. it. And because it's not it's not top tier like everything else you've heard. If you if everything you hear from there, like if, say if you heard ten songs and ten of them were like hundred, and you hit this eleven song and it's like ninety eight. Right. You notice that it, yeah, this ain't it. This right. Ain't, this ain't but it's like, same. it's still 98. Right. It's still a 98 <laughs> and it's still great. Right. Um, it's still a good song. Mm-hmm. Um, but as in comparison to what you've heard from that group, it just doesn't compare. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that seems to be, and it, well, not that doesn't seem to be. That is the problem with always putting out like top tier work all the time. Mm-hmm. At some point, when you do hit that middle of the road, not for everybody, but yeah. just for you, yeah. middle of the road song, this is kind of like, and the magic words of man, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's just like, damn, man, I thought you would have came harder. So, perfect example, best is yet to come. When they came back with that, we were like, yo, this is not it. Like, we, we weren't, we weren't. The crazy it. thing is, like, not even being funny, like, mm-hmm. we were right. Like, we, were we, right. we told, we was, basically, when they came out with the their last kind of, uh, their album, I think, is an amalgamation of different songs, but mm-hmm. it had, like, three new songs on each album. Best is yet to come dropped, and we was like, all right, this is a fire song, but we thought they they was gonna have something that was a little bit more like higher in tempo. People was like, nah, like this is da da da. We was like, I'm telling you, if they have something with higher tempo, it's gonna that, be crazy. The that me they off dropped Run BTS, and that shit was fire. Mm. Like it was fire. <laughs> like it just was. It was like we told y'all, it's like mm. nah. <laughs> but uh, no, but not just that. They were fraud. They were like, yo, this song is great. Blah 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 blah. And I was like, stop, you're fucking lying, bro. Right. I do fuck with Bezzy at the cover. No, you don't. I, I fuck with it. Yeah, you don't. I don't like it. <laughs> How you gonna tell him what he doesn't like? I like it. <laughs> like, I like permission to dance. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> I no, do. You know, I don't have an issue with like like that. I do. You tolerate it, but you don't like it. Oh, if any other group dropped permission to dance, it'd be probably their best song in their arsenal, depending on who it is. But that's my entire point. That is the entire point. That's the entire point. You don't need permission to dance. <laughs> you were shaking your hips at the concert when they came on. So no, how would you know? You were, you were like 10 rows in front. Drop footage. Say no, we don't just keep like. You ain't got no footage. You got no footage of that. I know. Who sit next to you that day? Uh, <laughs> probably Jared. Nas. Oh. Nas. Damn. Should have recorded him. <laughs> <laughs> Nas would look like. It was me, Nas, Kurt, and Jared. Yeah. And um, you know, he said we literally went to the Permission to Dance tour, and I wasn't there for that song. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good thing we didn't throw up on them. Um, wow. Yeah, so all in all, I thought that uh, the song was cool, but I just, from by their standards, it just didn't hit hard enough for me. How do y'all feel Did about... You, what, um, what do you, wait, time out. Sorry. <laughs> what, what, what's the, the look that for? That stare, you just gave him the... 
I've been here a long time. Yes, like, he has. He's been there for like 30 I seconds. I caught that when you said it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Con- yeah, you didn't hear it. It's a concert shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't hear. It. Yeah. How did y'all? How do y'all feel about those songs though? When uh, Will Smith used to do it, the kind of shading of the kids, like do your homework and make sure the dishes is done, nah, uh, kind of songs. I don't, need I don't even remember those. I do. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need, need to hear it. that. I don't need it. Y'all don't like what? Nobody needs to hear that. Like, that. Y'all don't like what people tell y'all like to do things like no. live right. No. no, no. <laughs> I want to make mistakes and learn. <laughs> I want to fuck up and learn. <laughs> You, I don't man in life. <laughs> you walk up and you learn shit. You want to know why I don't want to hear that? Because that's not how you came in. <laughs> you ain't walking talking about some, hey, do better, get your grades right, mm-hmm. all of this. You came in with everything else. Mm. Don't switch up now and try to pull <laughs> one of those dares things on me talking about some, hey, don't do drug. Fuck out of here. You still do drugs, man. It's simple. Probably culturally, right. it probably make more sense for them. That's than for a, my than parents to do. Yeah, right, culturally, because culturally, I mean, we're uh, Filipino, so we know some of you know what I mean. The Asian culture, but that's for my parents to do. And even then, I'm still do some stupid stuff and mess up. I I said, I I'm listening to your music to escape How did this. You know that? You said it's supposed to be escapism. Yeah. Like I'm, li- that's why I listen to some you artists. Cut the shit on, like, nigga, yeah, did you go to work today? You like, oh fuck, it's an, it's an escape. <laughs> yeah, like, damn, it, I, I stay home, man. I will listen to that just, just, but like, nah. I, but I music like, is feeling. Music is telling all the stories. Like, yeah, like, but the, don't the, tell me directly. Like, fair. do your do laundry. Right. Get, yeah. yeah, nah. Right. What are you doing? Run that track back. Delete it. <laughs> Wow. They got another track that? like that, bro. What's the other track where they was telling, where they told people like, "Don't turn up." You know, no. you know what I'm talking about. Nah, not no, no. I think it's more so about social yeah, issues. Bro, don't nobody yeah. want to hear that. But they got another track where it's like, "Don't be a bum, go to work" or some shit I'm like that. And I was just like, yeah. "Damn, you know what I'm talking about." Y'all know nobody what I'm talking about too. That? What song is that, wow. y'all? <laughs> nobody wants to hear it. And I, I mean, like, I'm, we, at least they are throughout the board because they got songs where they tell an army like, "Yo." Chill the fuck out, right? Uh, like they, 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 they across the board with they chill out yeah. to everybody. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> they keep that same energy. They keep but the same all right, energy. All right. So, like from that standpoint, like with BTS, they do have songs like that. That's cool. But like from like child on up, mm. I don't want to hear none of my childhood artists coming out telling me to do whatever. Mm. That's not what you started out with, sir. <laughs> keep the same energy. For them, it's different. Right. Y'all fans, crazy. Is it getting jiggy with it or just the tools? Is, is it just, just the tools? Like, nah, 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 summertime, nah, nah, nah. hello? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not just coming at one artist when I say that, because those yeah. are some classics. Will Smith yeah, subscribe. I'm just saying. There's some things that I don't want to hear from my favorite music artists because that's not how you got started. Right. These brothers is different. Y'all fan base is crazy. But then y'all also got some real cool ones, too. So I ain't mad, but like I'm also a grown ass man. So like you're not gonna be telling me what I can't do anyway. Mm-hmm. But that's different. You got a lot of. Well, I'm not a financial burden on my parents, so this shit ain't hit me. Uh, I'm cool. <laughs> this shit, it wasn't talking to me. No, but I, 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 think <laughs> I, I was in the back like no, 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 no. I break I my you, own spine with my financial burden. Yeah, 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 shit. But my I'm parents saying. might be my spine break. Yeah, isn't, isn't that a flawed <laughs> thought, financial a thought burden on myself? Huh? <laughs> isn't that like a sort of a, a flawed thought process? Like I definitely hear what he's saying. Oh, it's about like, like don't be a financial burden on your parents. No, 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 no. Um, like not listening because they're maybe saying something positive. My eyes are drying out. Um, but like we'll listen to somebody when they when they talk about drive bys, killings. Gang oh, killers, I see what you're else. saying. You but, glorify negativity, but right. not but right. not raise up for the positivity. It's like, it's like how dare you speak to me in a positive manner? Yeah. But somebody else would be like, like kill your ops if you see them. Yeah. Smack these hoes, niggas. Like, uh, no, I, I, <laughs> and, I, and I get you. Know, uh, you don't like the switch up. <laughs> But they artists switch up me. like I, want, I don't want to say all the time, but artists switch up fairly, fairly decent. Like Ice Cube switched up three times. He went from a gangster rapper to a pro black rapper, back to like a soft gangster rapper to like whatever the, the hell father, he was going toward the Friday stuff. The father. See, that's the thing. Is positivity Sometimes dead in music? The fan base like MC Hammer went from being a positive uh, dancing on coke rapper Tupac to like Tupac. slinging his meat all over a pool, oh, wow. screaming, a screaming pumps and the bumps. Right. Screaming pumps and the bumps. Oh yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? So and too legit to quit. And too le- yeah, too, <laughs> too, 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 too. <laughs> 
slinging me. I just head. blocked all this up from my memory because wow. the eighties was the bitch. You know what I mean? So like it's time. it's it's different. Like Bone Thugs went from like first of the month to like Christian bon, rappers. Bon, bon, bon. So bon, like bon, it, it's bon. sorry. Nobody really really stays. Like I mean, what the locks? Uh, as far as mainstream is concerned, they were like uh, dressing in tinfoil suits. You know what I mean? You think you know? Think I'm jiggy? Then robbing you um, album after and that. Then, yeah, then robbing motherfuckers after that. But the thing with BTS that I can say is consistent is they they know how to jump in and out of the pockets Dude, where they'll have too. one of these every two or three albums. Well, yeah, I think they're yeah. collectively and they're uh, sweet over, about it. Their too, albums, they're not. Their albums are so yeah. eclectic that they can pretty. It's almost like a Gorillaz album. Like, yeah. oh, how dare do Gorillaz do hip hop? Well, nigga, they do everything. Right, eclecticism everything. is their style. <laughs> That's yeah. their genre. Everything. You yeah, said, I yeah, I got so many groups. What do you say? I got so many uh, drums. The Lil Wayne bar. I got so many groups. I am a style. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I, got know, bro, styles, I got so many. I got so many. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, just, yeah, I get you. No, it's almost, it's, almost it's feel like because it's like it's weird, it's but it's like, felt like you're being preached to, right? A little bit, yeah. like, I, but that's <laughs> like, and it's like, it's like, it'll be something along those lines where it just feels like this is something my parents tell me. Yeah, you know, like I got yeah. them for that, bro. Spit bars. What are you doing? Yeah, like, yeah, it, that's just, it's just that. Like, no, I get you. For them, I mean, that's one brand. For at some point, and some of their songs, I mean. That's how we encountered them. So it's just like their okay, approach was a little different. Their yeah. approach on here didn't seem. They do do it where they don't seem like it's they're directly talking to you. Switch. It's more so like, yo, y'all can ask, but I'm me. I do this. Like it ain't. Like it ain't a yeah, it's it. They exactly. Yeah, Everything it comes off more or, as a diss yeah. than more like a. Because like I said, some of the stuff when they other joke about Will Smith and other artists, yeah. it's kind of too on the nose. <laughs> we're just like you. He yeah. said, hey, you looking at me? Make sure you ate your broccoli. And you just like, like no, bro, I'm not I'm now. Allergic, I'm not. I'm allergic. <laughs> You're not a rapper. <laughs> Be home by seven. I did. It's yeah, like, I'm bro. not you. I'm so happy you're not a rapper. <laughs> 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 that ain't my flow. That's the <laughs> just like, Where did that come from? I feel like you're just pushing some of your childhood shit on me. You probably. It's yeah. called projecting. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I can't even yell at my mom. I, I die. That's funny. Last time we did this video, we had a conversation of who eats first at the table. The dad, the uh, kids, or the mom. Whoever made it. The, no, the kids. Really? No. <laughs> the kids. Whoever get there first. The kids. When we was growing up. The Bible says no one, only God comes first, and then it's your husband, and then so yeah. on and so but, forth. But kids eat first, though. I worked all day, feed the family. Well, not just that, but like, you got to think of like most of the time. Yeah, you got it. Most of the times, <laughs> <laughs> most of the times when parents, um, you no, know, I was like, "Cause fuck them, that's what." Couldn't could really, couldn't really afford big meals, so you got to really, you know, portion it out. Let the kids eat, let them eat they fill, and then I'll eat what's left. That's essentially my thought. They process. looking at Nas at the house like we're hungry again, Dad. <laughs> we all ate dinner. They all took the big piece of steak. We all ate dinner, dinner together. I don't know. I, I can't speak on the fatherhood part because I have no kids. But I say this: growing up, like when we was living with, like when my like when my parents was together, we all kind of ate around the same time. Yeah, we all like ate together. You sat down, you talked about the day, whatever yeah. it was. Who plate got put down first? Yeah, that, that's yeah. the question. Pop's Who's plate. plate is, really? Pop's plate got put down first. Wow. Everybody else had there. Yeah. yeah. But but grandma then, and grandma. You think that's how it should be too? Like if it was a family I function, though. A provider, but like me, I want my kids to be better off than me. Always. Yeah, in line. But that's, <laughs> that's our thinking because we, yeah, so we went through it. You know what I mean? We went through in it. Life, so we, yeah, but I just got off a nine to five with a boss. I can't stand working a job. I don't like to feed you. Yeah, I'm going to eat. Now just go home and take that aggression out on them kids. Projecting. <laughs> I'm not taking it out on the kids. But it's like, yo, kid. You, you went to school. I went to work. <laughs> Heaven forbid the kid don't fix his plate. Right. Nah, bro. Look, look, what, you, what you do with it's that so plate. Nah. Chicken and didn't even finish what, you, what you do with that plate once it hits your once it hits the table in front of you is between you and your mother. Mm. However, <laughs> she cooked it. Yeah, the dad voice. Mm -hmm. That it's just that simple. Your mother. 
That's that, but but after that, hey, look, I want my food. Tina, get your child. I want my food. <laughs> However, though, like when like when we was living with my grandparents, grandma made first, cause my like my granddad and stuff, he wasn't around. Family function, old elderly ate first. Mm. Yeah. I never noticed an order. Me neither. Nah, I never we, we were because not our grandfather. To grab the food first. Well, our grandparents. You cookouts, kids, go up and get your plate. Exactly, go up and get your plate. So it's kids' table, or just eat whatever because the kids was running around and yeah. you went up with the kids. And then grandma always was starting preparing the next meal after she already cooked the meal. So it was just always there. Yeah, my right. grandmother is a beast. Grandma get so the first plate. Probably she, think in Korean yeah, households, she, right, they dad probably so, eat go first and grab out the joint. Yeah, so I don't know. Like grandpa, grandpa always had his bowl special. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe and then I'm he speaking. Took it upstairs. <laughs> maybe I'm thinking so of it. Like, yeah, I know he did. Yeah. I maybe I'm thinking of it from a poor aspect or some shit. Like the last of the porridge is getting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Know. The last of the kimchi is getting. Right. Like, <laughs> no, but that's the last pantaleo. <laughs> 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 the last bit of lupia. You gotta got split it. Yo, it's like you want to slice a mango on top of it. The last bit of lupia. I don't even. I don't even realize the order because it's just grandma. First of all, she made food for. I only her brought room. it up because that was yeah. a big talk. She point made food for. They was asking. So I'm just like, there's food. Everybody got food all day. So I don't know. I've never noticed an order, and Grandpa didn't eat with us after a certain point. He just started going to his room, oh, taking no. his bowl. He checked on everybody. He's like, hey, "Everybody good?" And then go upstairs yeah. to his room yeah. with his bowl. In our yeah. household, I, we almost was taught just to feed guests and everybody else yeah, before first, you even exactly. eat. Exactly. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. So. so I they I only learned how to feed people and put plastic bags in other plastic bags. That's yeah. my adulting. It was a first, knowledge. Yeah, first, that it was, is it. It was the oldest people first. Mm. Oldest ones first got the food. Guests yeah. need to drink, eat, yeah. and like if you was older and you was a guest, like if you was old and you was a guest, you, you want to drink. You, you, you eat, yeah, like, like you, we accommodate. Right. You, yeah. Like, but you know, the kids though, hey, just as long as you eat what's in front of you, because if not, you in trouble. Like, yeah. don't take off more than you. Like my cousin Trevon did. Eyes bigger than oh Listen, man. One of my little cousins like, did no, that, bro. At a family function, mm -hmm. grabbed too much food and sat right next to grandma. Oh. Everybody just looked at him like, I hope you eat that. And when he started eating and then got halfway through, she was like, um. I did that a couple times. You got to sit with grandma the whole time. He wasn't grandma's favorite. My grandma would let it slide. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, fa I'm the favorite. He's <laughs> 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 But that's going to be on women. That's going to be on women. The sons get away with everything. Moms, their daughters, mm -mm, we can't get away with shit. South, you better eat that food. <sighs> I can't wait for you to move out. My son, you can live with me until you're 40. What? <laughs> like, God. My grandma look at you like, you ain't going nowhere to eat it. Mm. Mm. Brothers outside playing tag when you was a kid, you still sitting there in front of the bowl. Like. I would never because I needed to get out there and play. So I'm gonna finish my plate. No, I, I, no, no, I would food. finish my yeah, plate. Finish so, that for like 20 minutes. Good time. Nah, was, nah, I would never. Them was good times. Good times. But I also like my isolation, so I'm weird. Hey, look. I was weird. <laughs> that was a real big talking point on the last one, and y'all weren't here, so I just wanted y'all okay, input on it just to, just to just to revisit that revisit. as well. Um, yeah, but shout shout out to BTS. Um, regardless how we felt about the track, vocal line, V, J, K, Jen, Jim, and y'all did y'all thing. RM, J Hope should yes. also uh, like did they thing on here. Music is always going to be subjective, and the main reason I really love this channel is just because of the conversations and the dialogue that we mm. get to have up here and with y'all. So uh, just be respectful in the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Don't Let's crush me out too much, y'all. <laughs> definitely want to have a conversation, and definitely make sure y'all jump on the Patreon. Um, the Patreon is a good source for y'all to see us have a better understanding of a lot of tracks because we jump into explain videos on there. We have fuller extended conversations after watching behind the scenes, dance practices and everything else. We learn more about them within the soups with uh, Run BTS, uh, Bon Voyages and just everything else. Um, definitely want to jump into some of the Disney Plus stuff too. I think J-Hope, Suge and a couple of them have. What? They have Disney Plus episodes that are on there with full nice. concerts and other stuff that we're going to be getting into. 
Um, so it's going to be a lot of BTS content on there this month. So um, nice. jump in. Let's have a conversation. Make sure you subscribe. We love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all. Deuces. Peace.